guys, what's up? It has been over two years since we moved in this house. We still haven't even given you the tour. So welcome to our crib. Come on. All right, come check out the house. First up, we've got the living room here. We spend the majority of our time. Got a nice little cozy L shape. So we love watching movies. We have the 65 inch OLED LG. We got the Sonos Arc with Dolby Atmos. Sounds incredible. Right here is our record collection. We love listening to music. This is a very special album to us right here. We got the Orbit turntable with the Marshall speaker. This thing sounds good. It really just bumps. One thing Michael did not point out was this picture. Michael took this picture and we had it blown up and framed. This was in Monument Valley during a dust storm. It turned out perfect, the perfect move for the living room. I just, he does a great job. The whole entire house, there's a picture, most likely it's his. All right, so from the living room is the kitchen. This is where I spend all my time making all of Michael's meals. I wish somebody make my meal once in a while. No, but I love this. Oh, one thing, this cutting board I absolutely love. Shout out to Monier Woodcraft. This is like beautiful, so heavy duty, it's perfect. He does a beautiful job. Highly recommend those. So here's all of our magnets of the states that we've been to together, and then some extra little ones that we found, but here's cute little Michael, baseball. You know, Abby talks about all the uh, meals she's been cooking, but most of the time, it's a, it's, it's a good balance of eating out and eating dinner at home. So let's take a look in the fridge. Nothing too impressive here. Got a three white claws. Always got that Diet Mountain Dew and that Diet Coke. Uh, really just condiments. Yeah, that's like <laughs> the whole thing. You know we always got those Stranger Things pizzas. If you have not tried these Surfer Boy pizzas from Walmart, from the Stranger Things, they are the best frozen yeah. pizzas you can get. One thing I did want to buy myself as like a housewarming gift was my little Smeg toaster. And then my mother-in-law, wonderful Deb, she bought me the little teapot for Christmas. Oh, and this, and the KitchenAid mixer. She bought this as well. So I love, love, love those three pieces. Those are probably my favorite pieces in the kitchen. This beautiful table was a gift from my dad. It's our first kitchen table that we never eat at. Sorry, dad. But where we do eat, we don't eat in the closet. We eat on these TV trays. We bought these when we first got married. It's been about 10 years of eating at these in front of the living room TV. That's the real life. So these beautiful pictures, Michael took every single one. I definitely wanted a little gallery wall. And so I've got tons of options. I think we're gonna change them out here for fall. Yeah, Alex took that one. Oh yeah, that's right, Alex, yeah. Alexandria Les, she did take this one. She's very, very good. And then last but not least in the kitchen, there's a little coffee bar. So our morning coffee, our evening espressos, and then we have a lot of the different uh, states that we've been to, our little coffee mugs. And then below the coffee bar is our little helpers, Mrs. Featherbottom, and then Joe Dierte right here. We have the Roomba mop and the Roomba i7. This thing is a lifesaver, especially with dog hair. It's really good. And if you don't know who Mrs. Featherbottom is. This, we? we love rest of development, so we named our cleaner Mrs. Featherbottom. And if one thing's for certain, we always keep it 69. So off the kitchen, we've got our mudroom here. This usually gets filled up with shoes packed under here, but we tried to clean it up a little bit. Um, and then we've got the laundry room, which may I say, this I technically got just as like cute little decor, but this has come in handy so many times. Reading those labels, you never know what the images mean, but this tells you exactly what it is. So yeah, got the washer dryer. And then we've got the spare bathroom here. We have a little pier. One thing I've learned about myself in the past two years, I didn't think I was a bird person, but apparently I find myself gravitating towards bird stuff. So you now become a little member of the family. And then we have our bedroom in here. So it's, babe, I thought you said you were going to tidy up. Well, I. Shame on you. Babe. Exactly. I thought you said that you were gonna tidy things up. Well, I. Shame on you. <laughs> this is where Michael wants me to say, this is where the magic happens. But yeah, once again, those are his two pictures up there. Pictures here. 
and it's cozy. I love coming in here. We have no cursive writing stuff in here, except for one thing. So I can kiss you anytime I want because we do love Sweet Home Alabama. Um, and then this little collage of pictures I took as well. This is the bed. Over here, we have our look, lucky little Chinese kitty we just bought. A lot of people don't like to have TVs in the bedroom, but I kind of do because it's really nice to chill. So we just have here, we have the little Sonos beam right here. We have an Apple, uh, little Apple TV 4K. This Dyson fan, honestly, is amazing. We've only had to change the filter once in two years, three years. All right, so now where the magic happens, for real, the master bathroom. So is he in here? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, hockey. He's okay. the uh, bathroom keeper. So in this bathroom, we have dual sinks. So when we picked out these sinks, this was supposed to be mine. This was supposed to be Abby's, but actually I wanted this sink. Now we both use this sink because Abby and I share everything. <laughs> Our good friend Chelsea painted this little canvas for us. She did this. So talented. What? We'll show them your room here in a second. Yeah, we'll go to your room here in a little bit, okay, buddy? And then this little drone shot right here I thought was kind of perfect for the bathroom. This was actually Clearwater Beach. Took this in Venice, obviously. Right here, the shower. We really cleaned this before this video was shot. Magic eraser, by the way, perfect for getting this glass. Forget about scrubbing bubbles, that takes too much time. One thing I do want to mention is this beautiful little cabinet at home for 350 bucks. There was like a little, um, yeah, right here. I was like, oh, there's a little scrape. Can we get a discount? She's like, oh yeah, sure. She must not be good at math because we end up getting it for $82. <laughs> so of course, we're very fortunate to have a walk-in closet. Here is our closet. It is as clean as it's possibly going to get. This whole thing is Michael's. This is Michael's. This is Michael's and all Michael's shoes. This is mine and this is mine. So I don't know how that happened, but yeah, he definitely has way more closets than me. Okay, but to start out, I had a lot more clothes than Abby. So up here, I got my Yeezys. I got my hats, my pants, shorts. Here's my shoes right here. I have Vans, got the Ultra Ranges, then my Ultra Boost, Nike SBs, more Vans. Um, and then the shoes I don't wear as much up there. And my clothing is collared button downs, then polos, then long sleeve t-shirts, then everything's kind of color coordinated, except down here, this is new clothes. I really gave up that color coordination because I want to keep my new clothes down here so I remember to wear them. The thing is, my shirts are bulkier than Abby's, so. That's it... what he likes to say. I don't <laughs> believe it. But yeah, that is our closet. All right, so now let's go upstairs and check out the upstairs. One feature I do love about these stairs are the lit up um, stair lights. It makes for a beautiful ambiance. It doesn't really do anything except for that. But first thing here, we have Michael's computer desk. So let me actually have him talk about that. So right here is where I spend all my time editing. The video that you're watching right now was created right here. I have the 14 inch Apple M1 Pro MacBook. I have the Apple Studio display, the Logitech MX series, mouse and keyboard. The guitar is right here. So Abby got me this like- 12, 13 years ago. I bet ago. 12, 13 years ago, yeah. This guitar right here was the one who used to pay the bills. I'm just joking, but this was back in the Bloodshed Fables days right here. This one is my prized possession. It's a 72 Deluxe in Seafoam Green Metallic. This baby is beautiful. Now let's step into the room right over here. This room right here is called the bro zone lair. This is where I chill and game when I have time. So right here we have the nano leaf lights. I have the Philips Hue lights right there. Um, I got the N64 still, Series X, Xbox, PS5. Got the Sonos right here, Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see it a little better, but this kind of sets the tone of where we like to hang out. And then I have the Philips sync box, so when we watch movies in here, flash to what's on the screen of the movie, it's awesome. Here I have my skateboards, so I either got these boards back in the day when I used to skate, and then this board right here is Tony Hawk Falcon 3. I bought this board in Redondo Beach, California. The first time I went to California, so that board was so awesome I never skated on it because I didn't want to. Then I got some old BAM reissues and then 
Abby got me Michelangelo because I love Ninja Turtles. And then this is one about the Tony Hawk game. So right over here are all the Blu-rays that we don't watch anymore because we have them all digitally. Now. I love Stranger Things. I found the 83 edition Coke. And then I got these. These are old VHS looking tapes, but they're actually Blu-rays. That is the first iPhone I ever had. So that is an awesome uh, concept where they take every single piece apart. And then we love Chuck, so I got the Chuck poster. And then it's turbo time. Accessories sold separately, battery not included. Found that last year, never opened it. And then I love Red Dead. So this is the map of Red Dead. And then during Halloween time, which we'll do shortly, we're gonna flip this and have the Undead Nightmare map. So it's pretty cool. And then we got this at 21 Pilot Show before they were really big. I mean, they were definitely getting big, but since they're from Columbus, this was such a good show. Had to get their poster. We are going to give the camera to Abby. But first, we're gonna stop at this bathroom right here. Wouldn't you know it, more birds. So we have little birds there. We have this bird that reminded us the one from Rio. And we have a shower. You know, this shower has a bath right here. We bought some bath bombs to use. We've used zero bath bombs. I think they're... <laughs> they're right in there. So we've never used a bath bomb in it. All right. The last room of the house is kind of like the miscellaneous room. Technically, it's kind of like my office where I work. But this is also a little Huckleberry's room. He does not like to sleep outside of his cage, so he still, still likes to be in there. That's the house. Let's go downstairs and see the cars. Check out the whips. We have the Toyota 4Runner in the Nightshade Edition. This thing's in the magnetic gray with the black accents. Let me tell you, this is the perfect vehicle for Target and Starbucks run. But we've also climbed Pikes Peak. We've taken it to Colorado. It's like our ultimate little road trip machine. Completely stock inside. Can I see inside? Check out the inside. Completely stock. Little trees, because those things smell so good. True North. Now we'll check out the Camry. This is not your ordinary Camry. This is the Camry XSE. This thing gets a whopping 41 miles a gallon. It's more like 31 blended. Got the sick leather red interior. It's got CarPlay. I probably should have washed it first. You've seen the whips, you've seen the house. We're gonna go sit in the back patio, have a nice little fire because it's getting evening. That's what we like to do, let's go. before Abby talks about her decor. Here's the Traeger Pro 575. If you want a good glizzy, you gotta get, get a Traeger. That's what they're known for, <laughs> I think. So here's one of my favorite parts about the house. We finally got it settled how we like. We've been having a lot of fires back here. Hopefully you enjoy that tour of the crib. We're gonna have a little fire and watch the sunset. So be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you on the next video where we decorate for fall. I can't wait. Yeah, me either. We'll see ya. Bye. Hey, welcome to our crib. Come on in, but let me first get my Hello Fresh. Come on. Really messy. Is that okay? God dang it. You just have to hurry up and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. This so the is, magic happens. This is where Michael wants me to say this is where the magic happens. What do I say going up? Is she standing by this or? Uh, no, you, we walk. How's that gonna happen? Cause it's zoomed in, you can't even see. Well, you're not in the picture first. You're, it's me and I think. Okay. You're just gonna say, hey, what's up? It's been almost over two years since we moved in. Like, we haven't even given you the full tour. Okay. So, come on. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> 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 <laughs>